feel like you were in an uphill battle or no? Uh, not really. I mean, we got down kind of early. Um, I think it was like maybe 17 to 10 or 17 to 11, something like that. And, you know, usually early in the season, we've been a team kind of get down on each other, you know, start, you know, yelling at each other. And we just kind of focused on just staying with it, staying with it, staying with it, you know, trying to just keep chipping away. Um, you know, I don't really – survey, you know, I try to get into my own zone for the game, so I don't really survey everyone else's energy, but I thought everyone was ready to go, pretty dialed in, you know, um, just, uh, it's, it, it's tough. It's tough. Okay, as one of these guys, you know, he wasn't naming names, but this is your third year you've been around, what do you do now? Is there anything you do in particular to change or to contribute to changing this this mode that he said is starting to get to be, you know, a bad habit? Um, I mean, I know before the games I try to echo 40 minutes, you know, the stuff that Coach puts on the board before the game. You know, we, we can't do it for 20, we got to do it for 40. I try to echo that, you know. Um, I feel like I'm being heard. I hope I'm being heard. Um, but, I mean, I mean, it's just – me personally, I mean, I just kind of get into my own zone. You know, I just listen to music or just kind of just, you know, think back on the past and just kind of get into a little anger zone and just try to, you know, take my frustrations off into the game. I think, you know, we got some guys right now that just are happy to be wearing a jersey, happy to be running up and down, happy to walk around campus with the gear. And, uh, you know, we've had some guys like that in the past, too, but the one thing that they, they've they loved the game and they come with it because you only got 40 minutes and then it's over. So, I uh, do it's, it's easy to fall into a level of mediocrity. And I think it happens a lot because in a lot of cases, more than not, sometimes, unfortunately, it's accepted. Uh, unfortunately, in athletics, it doesn't, it doesn't cut it. Anthony, do you feel like this team in general has kind of fallen into that, that <coughs> main grounder or, you know, a mediocre, and he just said some guys are, you know, just happy enough to walk around campus, have the gear on, you know, be part of it? I mean, not have that edge. if that's the case, then that's just immaturity. I mean, we're here for one reason. I feel like me going on my third year, I look at it as we go out and we run the stadium and run the hill and do all these, all these things over the summer. For what? Not just to look good. I mean, we go out there to get in shape and get ready for the season. We do everything we do day in and day out to perform on the court when it's game time. And I feel like some guys just don't realize that. So, I mean, whether we fall into that bracket or not, I mean, it's an inside job. Like, it's we got to get it. We got to get it fixed. Like, I don't think, like necessarily, we can't we can't really worry about that as a team. We have to worry about us. Because once we start worried about all of that, then we don't focus on us, and it'll just keep happening. Because we got to find out what, what what are we doing wrong. And obviously, if it's from the start, then we need to bring a different approach. Is BJ, can, can you guys tell from here on Is he at a point where he's ready to, you know, to come unglued? I don't, I don't think he is, but is he at that point where he's not ready to come unglued and just really like, flash out and start, you know, I mean, he he gives us he gives us all. He's his all. I mean, it's never like a dull moment with him. We know that it's from the heart and that he really wants it. And we and then I look around the locker room because I want it too. And I see blank faces sometimes. I see exactly what he see. So I mean, at the end of the day, it's nothing that he's doing wrong. I mean, he wants it better than some of our players sometimes. That's how I feel. And it shows. So, I mean, nah, but he doesn't he doesn't lash out. He's just he gets frustrated. Because, I mean, we do practice hard. We do warm up hard. We do show all the things we're supposed to show to get ready for the game. And then when it starts, lights out. Okay, let's go to a scenario. Let's say you're all in the locker room. He's going through something. And he's making his point, And he's making it loud and clear or whatever. And you say, you, you see blank faces just like he sees. Mm. Do you feel like it's not one of you guys' place? To say something? Yeah, to say, hey, Bill, are you listening to what's going on here? It, we we've been there, Have and you? yeah, we we've done all these things. And like calling somebody out, they they want to get sensitive or feel like you know they're being like 
belittled or something and, you know, tested. And at the end of the day, like, we need that as a team. But we got guys that are immature and don't want to buy in. Times, you know, um, we get big, we get big buckets, or you know, I think what really hurts most is we get an open three that we've worked so hard for. We don't make it, mm -hmm. you know, and guys get a little down. Um, and, you know, that's a sign of immaturity, um, or you know, going to the free throw line, you know, missing free throws. Guys are getting down because against Weaver, we missed so many free throws and to see it kind of just happen again tonight it was just it was like deja vu and I think um, it's hard sometimes when coaches are trying to get in the guys get them going and then you say, say say something to them and they still got that blank look or you know they make an excuse about something it's just it's it's a it's a revolving door of just you know flatness I mean, I don't know if we got to start the game pressing the full court or or what. But, um, you know, I feel like every time we do press, we're right there. And we got the athletic guards and a couple of bigs who can run the floor. Um, but, uh, is it is it fair to say that in general, this team, and I'm not pointing fingers, but is it fair to say in general, this team, Team needs an attitude adjustment? Oh, yeah. Is it? Guaranteed. I think there's just, there's a lot of submissiveness. And, I mean, you guys see it in the game, but I, I don't get surprised when I see it in, in the game because it happens in practice. You know what I'm saying? It, it happened over the summer. You got freshmen coming in, dominating three, four year guys. And, you know, you're like, well, sure freshman's good. Or is it like, well, the junior's not very good. So, um, there's just the competitive edge right now is just, it's not there. Just is, it, is it that lack of, uh, uh, you know, the killer instinct, like, you know, I'm going to kick your ass for 40 minutes? Lack of that? Yeah. You, know, you can be buddies later or before, but for 40 minutes I'm here to, you know, kick Yeah, your there's definitely a lack of that. I think, um, as a whole, I mean, even on me, um, you know, we look for excuses sometimes. Um, you know, the refs are calling this, refs are calling that. You know, I can't do this because the refs going to call that, you know. And I try to tell some of the bigs sometimes, you know, yo, just get a foul for just not going to do it on the ground. So what? I mean, yeah, you have four more, but he knows, like, you're a presence down there. The next time he goes, he's going to be a little scared. Um, but, you know, there's back talk when you say something like that, so it's just it's hard to to communicate when you don't always feel like you're being heard, you know. And it's kind of sensitive. There's quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of sensitivity, and you know, uh, you could say it's a reality check. Everyone needs a reality check, but some people just grew up different, grew up in different places, you know, and some people are just stubborn to change or it just doesn't mean enough to them. 